In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a policy reminder for documents inside SharePoint really quickly and easily using absolutely no code at all. So I'm going to jump into our demo site. So this is our SharePoint library where we store our policies. And I'm going to just drag and drop a load of policy documents in here. So we've got some examples to work with. Great, so they've uploaded. So now I need a date column so I know when these policies are going to expire. And to do that really easily and quickly in SharePoint, I can just click add a column. And we want to make it a date column. And I'm going to call it policy expiry. And I'm going to make it date and time. I don't want to include the time. I'm not bothered about the friendly format either. Save that. And I've now got this extra expiry column here. Now that means because I've added that column now, I can go into each one of these documents, click on the information panel, and I can set an expiry date in the calendar. So some of these I might set to expire in the past. Um, I'm just going to do a quick bulk edit. So we've got some examples in here. These ones can expire in the future tomorrow. So it's really quick and easy to, um, to set those expiry dates in SharePoint. And obviously you can come in here and you can adjust them if you needed to. One thing you might want to do is to highlight which ones are overdue, which ones are up for renewal today, and which ones are okay at the moment. And again, we can do that really easy using formatting, uh, column formatting in SharePoint, again, without any code at all. So I can bring down the drop down menu next to policy expiry, go to column settings, format this column, edit this template that it's already created for me. So if the policy expiry is before today, then that is overdue. I want to make it red. If it's today, I'll make it yellow. It needs reviewing today. And if it's after today, then it's OK. It's not uh, due for renewal yet. So I can save that and that should update our policies. So we can see right this this one here, it's highlighted red. That needs looking at straight away. Now it's great having it highlighted here, but you probably want some sort of email or notification that it's coming up for expiry. And again, we can do that really quickly and easily out of the box. So what we do is we go to flow in the library and we want to set a reminder and it's automatically picked up that we've got a, a date field in there for policy expiry. So I can select on that. That brings up this flow panel on the right hand side uh, with a template. So it's already created the flow for me. It's just get asked for a few details. So get an email reminder is the name of the flow. I'll call it uh, for policies. Remind me how many days in advance, maybe I'm go get an email uh, a couple of days in advance and then create that flow. So whenever this um, policy policy becomes up for renewal, a couple of days before I'm going to receive an email and it's going to tell me which, which documents are up for renewal in a, in a couple of days. And then I can go in there, I can update them, I can change the expiry date in here, and it's ready for the next year and the next time the policy comes up for renewal. So I hope you found that useful. Um, really easy, quick, easy steps to set up a, a policy expiry uh, column, format it, make it really easy to, to see which ones are coming up for renewal, which ones are overdue, and also to set up that email reminder so you get automatically notified of which policies are going to expire soon.